Now, the state of Nebraska has seen a record number of COVID deaths. Patty Riddle was almost one of them. She spent weeks in a coma, then months in the hospital. At one point, her heart stopped beating. It's a good thing she has her husband's. Here's NBC's Jay Gray. Her steps are difficult and deliberate. There were several times that I thought I, I would not be going home. But surrounded by family, Patty Riddle is going home, 83 days after she first went into an emergency room outside of Omaha, Nebraska. Doctor come in and said, I got bad news. He said, your lungs are full of COVID. With no COVID beds available near her home, she's rushed to Lincoln, where two weeks of quarantine give way to nearly three months in four Nebraska medical facilities. It just wasn't getting any better. Desperate, her doctors try every available treatment. On a ventilator, she's placed in a medically induced coma. I don't remember any of that. Ron Riddle will never forget. His teenage sweetheart and wife of 40 years, listless, unable to breathe on her own. I was a wreck. I couldn't do anything, couldn't eat, didn't want to eat. He starts writing a journal, his way of talking to Patty. Couldn't get to sleep until 2 o'clock in the morning and woke up at 4. It's miserable not having you beside me. Before her illness, the couple had never spent more than five days apart. Now, doctors are telling him their time may be running out. I started planning her funeral. But those plans would have to wait. Coming out of the coma, Patty is getting better. When I started waking up, I could not put the pieces together. She also couldn't move her arms or legs, her muscles ravaged by the virus. They'd have to feed me um, anything. Anything I did, they had to, the nurses had to do. With therapy, her strength is now slowly coming back. But I am very blessed to be able to have walked out of there. I know I'm one in a few. A blessing, though, that comes with some real concern. Because while the harvest season's over here in Nebraska, the field's empty now, the riddles understand the virus is still growing here and across the country. Which is why Patty has this urgent warning for those who don't take it seriously. You're playing Jeopardy with your life. If we don't just do what they say, wear a mask six feet apart and, and wash your hands. Simple precautions that she knows all too well could be the difference between life and death. Great, Mom. For the news, Jay Gray, Omaha, Nebraska. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.